decided to make a video just on how this cooling system works in the MP5T. I've got it all set up far away, so whatever, it's probably going to work on the long USB. So basically, normal car has a thermostat, a closed loop for the heater core, and then the other one that goes to the radiator. This one here has an electrically controlled, well, it's an electric pump that's ECU controlled. That's how I vary the temperature in the motor. So it goes radiator to the pump, to the motor, back to the radiator. And if it's too cold, the pump slows down, lets the engine temperature build. If it's too high, it speeds up. You can actually see at the bottom, it's AN16 up, through, through to the engine and back out. There's a second cooling loop. This is AN4, goes into the wastegate, liquid cooled wastegate, from the wastegate through the turbo up and back into this plate here where the temperature sensor is. So that basically makes up the whole, the whole loop of the coolant. The sensor itself, sorry, the actual uh, pump is controlled by what's called a solid state relay. This is pulsed on a duty cent cycle. It lets you run it really, really slow. Give me a sec, let me just turn this down. So, what I'm gonna do is spark up the car, if I can reach. So, IQ3 comes on. Should be able to see the ECU now. Let's give it a sec. So this program was made by Haltech uh, as per a request of mine. The request is pretty straightforward. I gave them a really, really big uh, document, but uh, it was basically I need to make I need you guys to make me a program. So generic duty cycle is what's used. The two uh, axes is temperature and then manifold pressure. See, there's a large area that the blue dot's sitting in right now. Zero. That is where we're currently sitting and I do this so that I can actually load maps without it screwing around with anything. So the actual map itself looks like that. So effectively the pump stays slow until the temperature goes up and as soon as the temperature comes up it aggressively starts to bring it back. So if I select just for the sake of demonstration, if I select the area right now and make it like 5%. So you can see the pump is running a 5% duty cycle right now. If I make that 10, 15, 20, 25, 50, 75 percent duty cycle. So the pump is four times more uh, useful than stock. So I very rarely see a duty cycle of over 50. So that's 50% duty cycle. Normally the car runs on 10. So that's about the speed that the pump sits at. All that's automatic. As soon as you start the car, pump kicks in, starts to run at 5%. As the temperature goes up, it starts to hit 8%, 10%, 12%. And then wherever it's set to uh, maintain temperature, it'll ramp up quite high. Same thing with the, uh, the fans. The fans are also set onto a uh, solid state relay. So it's real simple, we'll just make this 10 degrees right now, which should trigger the fans. So, fans are right now running at 41.6%. Easy. If I make this 20. Thirty-three percent. You can hear them come down a little bit. I rarely see a duty cycle on the fans above ten percent. There's twenty-three and off. So all that is ECU controlled. You don't have, you don't need to have the laptop hooked up to for it to do that. The pump automatically regulates the engine temperature. Uh, if you're driving really really. Uh, fast we'll say in the fall the pump is just going to run less than if you're driving downtown in a city in traffic the pump will just ramp up and maintain temperature but it's dynamic it actually holds a target really really well so that's the whole that's the whole system in the uh, mp5t and like i said it uses a solid state relay 
so that it doesn't burn out the conventional relay.